baby looks like a baby now. The crazy thing was that it was moving. I just felt really down. I feel like if I answer these questions too honestly, they're gonna commit me. Good afternoon because it took all morning to go to the doctor's office. So this morning I didn't vlog because we were kind of rushing out of here to get to the office. And then when I got to the doctor's office, you know, I black out. It was a big visit today. I had the NIPT test. I also had genetic testing, lots of blood work. I also got to see baby. Baby looks like a baby now. Freaked out when I saw it because it looks like an actual baby. You can see its head, you can see the arms, you can see the legs. The crazy thing was that it was moving. Like, is that the baby moving or is that you moving the wand? And she's like, nope. He's moving and then she's like do you see the heartbeat and I was like huh and she like zoomed in a little bit and you see the little heart beating like through its chest and it was just so crazy and unfortunately I did not FaceTime Chris during all of this because the doctor had come in and I didn't see his text saying he wanted to and then I just got overwhelmed staring at my baby in my stomach moving. Like it's so crazy because I still don't look pregnant. I look like I ate like a dozen donuts, but I don't look like I'm pregnant. And inside my stomach, there is a fully formed looking thing that looks like a baby and it's like doing somersaults. Rambunctious little boy in there, I'm imagining. Or girl. A lot of questions answered. I got a pamphlet, talked about some options because there are some things that I don't want to do if possible and I love that my doctor immediately was like yeah there's an alternative to the glucose test she asked me my reasoning for it and she's like okay and she respected it and so we know that I will not be doing the glucose test the traditional way I'll be doing it a different way we also talked about different options besides an epidural how to kind of prep for that still don't know still open to it my plan is kind of to be planned for all <laughs> i think that's probably the smartest thing is like yeah. just to, to have our plan but leave room for you know what may be well ideally i would like to not have an epidural if i can do it and she said that's all mindset and there is nitrous oxide she said there's other pain medication i can look into honey's making us some lunch now i feel so much better after today's visit still sad that chris couldn't go in with me Especially today because I feel like you would have really enjoyed that ultrasound. Yes, I would have. He's actually really upset about it. Very upset that the doctor didn't ask how he was doing. <laughs> Nobody thinks about me. What's been going on on this fine Tuesday afternoon in May? Oh, my shoulders are kind of sore from yoga yesterday. I also feel pretty good. So yesterday I felt okay. I was a little bit grumpy and a little bit kind of not feeling great. Sunday was horrible. Sunday was legit an entire day in bed. Today I feel good, even though I had to get up early and was stressed about going to the doctor's office. It's just always kind of stressful not knowing and I, and just the whole process of it right now. Maybe go on off. a walk. What off, is going? Please? What is going on? Off. Thank you. Happy Wednesday. I just spent the morning filming some content or shooting some content that is due. I am obsessed with this set. It's really, really thin. It's from Aloe. They did send it to me. It's their new strawberry set, which I thought was so cute. Not a color I normally would buy, but I'm really happy that I have it because that's when I get like more creative. I don't actually get creative. The brand gets creative and sends me a color. Um, Cause you guys know me, I'm always like gray, black, white, neutral colors. This is actually really flattering and I like it. I did size up in the leggings. I'm normally an extra small and this is a small just because I wanted the band to be a little looser as my belly grows. It's interesting. So at night, I definitely feel like I look pregnant. And then during the day, I just look a little bit bloated down here. And then uh, probably TMI, but I can't get my nipples to go away. <laughs> and I don't wanna wear padded bras. And even when I wear bras with a little bit of lining and padding, you can still see my nipples. <laughs> it's just pregnancy boobs, I think. <laughs> but the bra is really comfortable because I've been having issues with a lot of my sports bras. I mentioned this on stories, but I think my rib cage is expanding a little bit wider. So it's causing a lot of like my sports bras that are a little more supported 
to feel constricting and my boobs have definitely gone bigger so this is still my normal size a size small lighter lining is definitely more beneficial and comfortable and then there's a little extra fabric here but i feel like i'm gonna grow into it so i'm okay with that the airlift high waist is so soft i was a little worried because the airlifts i have tried on before are like much thicker and i didn't want it to feel too constricting and it feels really comfortable really happy with this set and chris came upstairs and was like you look so pretty today he's being a good husband pants on the other hand has been a little holy terror this morning why are you being a holy little terror he's embarrassed but i was feeling a little down today I woke up pretty early, so that wasn't the case. Like I didn't oversleep or anything, but I just felt really down. And then I read some trolley comments and I don't think the comments themselves made me feel down. It was just not helping the fact that I already kind of felt a little bit off. I went to the doctors yesterday and I had to take one of those like psych evaluations because of my history, depression and everything. They try to monitor that every visit now especially now that I'm pregnant. I try to be as honest as possible while answering that, but also sometimes I'm like, I feel like if I answer these questions too honestly, they're gonna commit me. So instead of just like wallowing in my kind of crappy mood, I got ready, put some makeup on, got dressed, even though it's like fitness clothes, created content, which always makes me feel better. And it's hard because sometimes creating the content or feeling stuck about content or wanting to make sure you guys enjoy the content but also this is a business and I have to create content for brands or with brands and making sure it's still valuable and is aligned with my beliefs but making sure yes this is clearly a paid advertisement on my channel or on my Instagram or wherever it is it's being used but it still needs to add value to you guys and provide information. It actually made me really happy because I'm working with a wellness brand that I think is doing a great job. So that's exciting and I had fun creating content for them, with them. But sometimes it can feel like it's just not enough. Um, not enough for the brands, not enough for you guys, not enough for me. You can get stuck in this like perpetual like Am I good enough to be noticed by people that want to follow me, that are following me? Am I still staying fresh and staying motivated for myself? All these things. Um, but today was actually a really good day for creating content and got me out of that crappy mood because I really love creating content and I'm so blessed that I get to keep doing it and that it can be my main source of income. So that's something I'm really really grateful for and it's thanks to you guys watching and following and it's thanks to people wanting to see it. You can get stuck in the comparison game sometimes and you can also just question everything. A few vlogs ago I talked about real food for pregnancy. It finally came in so I'm excited to start it. I ate breakfast. I feel like it's probably time to eat lunch soon and I have leftover pasta from last night so I think I'm gonna make that and have that for lunch and I want to go for a walk because I think some vitamin D will do me good. It's also good to do some walking. I haven't walked in a while and maybe I will do some light weights as well. I've been doing the Tone It Up pregnancy series just because Chris has been busy and hasn't had time to train me. I mean, he would train me if I asked him to, but he's been busy and I've been busy and not really like in the mood to do a full training session. So I've just been doing 30 minute workouts with the Tone It Up app and I've really been enjoying that. And let me tell you, I thought, oh, this is only 14 minutes. This one's only 25 minutes. I'm not gonna feel too much of it. I am still sore from a week of Tone It Up pregnancy workouts. And I was doing week one, which I realized I should have been doing week 10 because I'm technically at week 10 of my pregnancy. I really need to up my walking game outside whenever I can, especially when the weather's nice, just because I need to get more sun. Vitamin D is really important and I don't get enough of it because I stay inside all day and when I do go outside I wear a lot of SPF. I just need to make sure I'm out and about more which is probably better for my mental state. Happy Thursday! Chris and I decided to take today to go visit the Strawberry and Blueberry Farm. I saw my friend Jenny go a few weeks back and she said that it was relatively easy to avoid people. 
people and to social distance and she felt safe. And I just think it's important to find ways to go outside right now. Get your vitamin D. We went on a three mile walk around the Silver Lake Reservoir, Reservoir yesterday, which was really nice. Um, every, most everybody was wearing a mask when they passed us and we had our masks on when we were passing people. And there's a good like maybe two miles where we didn't have to worry about much. And then there are people who didn't have masks on that were also running the wrong direction. I was surprised at how easy it was to avoid people at such a populated yeah. kind of reservoir workout area, area. So that was nice. It was just nice to be outside, to get some sunshine and some fresh air. That since we're going before the holiday rush this weekend, that we'll have the place pretty empty. Yeah. Get some blueberries, get some strawberries and just be outside. I've been trying to order my crib from Ikea from a store pickup within any two mile store. Not two mile. Two, two hour. Not I was two hour. I was willing to drive up to two hours to pick this thing up. So the crib that Chris and I registered for and we created a registry of like all the base necessities so that we know that we have everything to bring baby home. We were gonna order the crib and the dresser first because it takes 10 weeks. I looked at the price and I was like, ah! And then I was like, let's, let's just see what Ikea has. And they have the exact looking crib. Yep. And they opened up retail for pickup. So this crib is less than 80 bucks. But the delivery is $49. <laughs> I refuse to pay this delivery fee if I can pick it up. But every day I try to do store pickup within a two hour drive. And I finally got through to Costa Mesa, but they're like, oh, we're out of the crib. And I'm like, well, that defeats the purpose. My brother's like, just be patient. Like things will die down eventually and you'll be able to pick this up. Exactly the one we want. We wanted a natural, simple wood crib. Yep. The only one we found at the baby store was like close to what we had in our minds. But the Ikea one is the exact one we want. Yep. I'm really excited that I found the crib. Now it's just about getting it. And I know I have time because if it's Ikea, like, it doesn't take 10 weeks to Yeah, it doesn't take 10 weeks to order. Although, you could argue, because it's <laughs> Ikea, it might take 10 weeks to build. Construction. Ikea is the most complicated ship on the planet. The Ikea dresser, there's two dressers I want. One for our bedroom and then one for the baby room. The baby room. So, it's the same dresser style and wood and finish. It's just a different height. So, Chris has been using plastic bins for the last three, four years. So we definitely need a dresser for the bedroom for him. And then we can stop using these ugly plastic bins. And then the baby one, um, I don't have to rush to get right now. Um, I'm trying to, basically Chris and I are trying to like slowly put everything together. It's why we're starting so early too. It's easier to spread the cost out over the next nine months as opposed to just dropping everything on you like a ball at one time. Yeah. My stomach can handle it. The car seat and the stroller. stroller is like two really expensive items. Yeah, those are two things though that we're not really. We're not gonna. We're not gonna fudge those. Those are we know exactly the ones we want based on safety regulations and everything, and so that's kind of that is that is what it is. We want to know the cost of things so that if we can find it for cheaper, like the crib and the dresser, which we have no problem buying IKEA furniture, not like all. our entire house is IKEA. So if we can find those things cheaper, but it looks exactly like the way we want, and it's not really a safety concern, then we're gonna do it. But when it came down to like things like the car seat and the stroller, and then the convenience of converting the stroller as the baby gets older, bassinet for overnight stays, and for if we wanted to have the bassinet in the bedroom, like our bedroom in the beginning before moving the baby into the crib, um, all of those things, like there's a lot of safety regulations, a lot of things you gotta research and like think about. So we've decided on those items, and so now we know the price. And so we're gonna slowly, in the next, can you believe it, it's not nine months anymore, it's only six. Oh wow, wow! That's gonna be so fun. Over the next six months, we're gonna slowly accumulate these things. Six months, that's insane. So one, for Chris's sanity and stomach we have to slowly accumulate these things cost wise also i don't want to be in like major debt if not possible no. so i would like to like just save up 
and buy these items as we save up for them. Yeah, but yeah, I will have a heart attack if I have too big of a bill. Yeah, obviously it's the same money that's going out. It's, it's just... more about the digestion of the receipt. That's just how we budget and how we deal with it. It's just easier for us. And it makes me feel better that Chris knows exactly how much everything's gonna cost so that there's no fighting or frustration. That's just how we, as a couple, have decided to do things. Hello to the little bug. This would be so fun for a kid. They're not gonna hurt you, baby. Just blow them off. Yeah, that's a good one. never picked my own avocado before. It was extremely exciting. Just remember it's $1.29 per avocado. Per avocado? Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's $1.49. I don't see any. Where's this appointment that is? We're at location number two for some blueberries. So this is a smaller farm and they do strawberries and blueberries. And Chris and I really wanted some blueberries. Yeah. 
So we figured we're already out here, we might as well travel up. It wasn't that far, it was only 15 minutes away. We took a little lunch break and had some in and out. So Chris is really bummed that the animal petting. They close, yeah, they closed down all the animal petting. Um, you can't get really close to them. But look how cool this little camp is. Like if you look up there, you can actually see one of the goats posted up on the tower. Up oh, there. wow. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but they have this whole little maze. It's really nice. Hey, buddy. Hi. Yeah, Chris is really upset at the last farm. Yeah, I like to, when we go to these places, I really like to pet the animals. <laughs> He's like, I hope they open them up for the kids. And I'm like, the kids are you. <laughs> like I said, I would not enjoy it. <laughs> The most glorious of all animals. I thought llamas were. It's in the llama family. This location is definitely a lot quieter than the last one. It's also way smaller, so it's three dollars per person versus five. The blueberries smell really good. There's some that are a little dried up from the sun and then there's some that are not ripe yet so you just have to kind of pick but it's just nice to be out here it's so quiet and still